Hello, today we're going to be looking at a Vauxhall Tigra 1.4 which is uh, getting a flat battery uh, overnight. So first thing that we're going to do is have a look at the battery and uh, see what state that's in. Um, when I say look at the battery, we're going to check that the alternator is charging. So the charge warning light is going off, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it was not a problem. We should be expecting about 13 to 14 volts if it is charging, so we've definitely got an issue. Okay, okay because the alternator's got a live, live lead going to the back of it, we need to make sure that we make the car safe, and by doing that, we have to disengage, uh, sorry, disconnect the battery uh, negative. Just like that, and set the alarm off. Any keys there, just put it back on, took it off. Um, right, next thing I'm going to do is the air alternator is actually down here. Can you see it's on the side of the engine? So, what we're going to do is we're going to take off the air filter, the air filter trunking, just to give us a bit of ease of access. So, yeah. Okay, so we've established that the alternator is not charging. I've been through and checked the charge. Uh, relay and fuses everything's good I've even just checked all the fuses just randomly just to make sure nothing seems amiss everything seems fine um, and I've checked the back of the alternator and we're not getting the thinning out it could be uh, a harness problem but, Garrett, but I'm pretty much sure it's the original alternator so what we're going to do now is um, change the alternator okay just for awareness um, to take this clip off can be a little bit awkward if you don't know what you're doing but basically it's quite easy you just slide out that slide Pull it off, give it a wiggle, and off it comes. Okay, now we've got ourselves a little bit more space down here. So you can see down here, this is the tensioner. So what we'll do, we'll probably take that off, undo the pivot. And then we'll see what we can see f for wires. Yeah, we'll go from there. So I'll put the ratchet on through the wheel arch. You can just see through there with an extension. If you come over the top, Daisy, it's just going onto the bottom of the adjuster spring. I'll just whip that off now, hopefully. <laughs> She's off. Probably not the right way to do it because it's under a bit of tension, but it does come off that way. There we go. That's the nasty way to get it off. So that's all it is. Spring. I think that's when it's from original manufacturer. You squash it and then bend that tab over and then you cut it. Um, so yeah, it'll be fun putting that back on. But hang on. So now we just need to. It's it's, it's loose anyway. 
So that's now loose, so we can pop the belt off like that. Let's put that out of the way. And then it looks like we've got two screws. We've got one down there and one up there. And then try and drop it. You ready? Yep. There's one. and just make sure I can disconnect the electrics and then we'll go from there. Okay, from underneath the car, it's gonna be quite difficult to film and uh, undo it, but essentially we've got, point in the right direction, we've got a 13 mil just there, focus, uh, just there and an eight mil just underneath it. So we'll just pop them off, I'll try and do it. We'll, we're filming and this is why you disconnect the battery because that is a live cable there we go. so there's that one and then using an 8 mil Really not helpful, I'm afraid, but not very difficult. Sorry, very difficult from under here. Just undo that one, right? And that's it. I'll take them off. Okay, um, that was a bit of a pain to get out. Um, you can't drop it down the bottom, so I've had to take it out the top. Now, to take it out the top, just have to take a few bits off, and I'll just show you now what they were. So, the first thing was there's a, a channel here which goes across the top of the uh, timing gear uh, cover. So you have to take that off and just move it to the side. Then using a bungee um, just to pull that hose, um, water hose, just back enough. And then it was hanging up on these bolts here. So I took out those two case bolts. Shouldn't be an issue putting it back. Um, and then what I've also had to do is was just undo the clips that held the uh, aircon pipes in just just to free them up a little bit just to allow freedom of movement but yeah it's a bit of a wrestle but eventually it came out and it came out in that direction like that so if you ever get one out that's the way it comes out there's another video on youtube i think and the guy actually drops all the suspension to take it out so yeah it's tight um it would have been easier if i took that hose off completely but then you'd have to take the water out um drain the water down but yeah um, so that's it out. So what we'll do now, we'll take it over to the bench and we'll give it a test and see if we can see what's wrong with it. Okay, before I put the alternator back in, one thing that people forget to do is you need to push these top hats in. Because what happens is when you put the bolt all the way through, it pulls this top hat out slightly and it takes up the play in the bracket. So they are floating uh, and if you don't pull them all the way in, it can be a bit of a nightmare to... Uh, You see there there's no there's a gap there and there's no gap there but it'll squeeze up when we put the bolts in so it just makes your life easy, life easier when you put the alternator back in so just a top tip there Okay, new alternator fitted. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, the tensioner was an absolute swine. I don't know if you can just see it down there. Bits of tie wraps and stuff that I've had to use to compress the spring to get it back on. Um, but I got it on eventually. Um, all back together, air boxes on, all pipes clipped up, all looking nice. So we'll just fire it up, see what happens.
Oops, turn it on. Get in. Job done.